Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about right triangle trigonometry. First we're going to go over the definitions. And that angle right there we will refer to as theta. That's the Greek letter theta. Here's the definitions. Sine of theta is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Opposite side of theta being this side right here, the opposite side, phi being the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Cosine theta is the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, this being the adjacent side to angle theta, and tangent of theta being the ratio of the opposite side over adjacent, this being the opposite side, this being the adjacent. Notice this is opposite this angle. So if we're referring to that angle up here with a different you know, variable, such as Greek letter alpha, this would be the opposite side. So now we're going to find all these ratios here. Uh, to begin, though, we need this side right here. We need the length of this leg of this right triangle. So to do that, we have two sides of a right triangle. We can always use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to set that up so we can first find this third side. And everyone, make sure you don't make a mistake like this. That is wrong because when you set up the Pythagorean theorem, C must be the hypotenuse in this equation. So let me fix that. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 4 plus B squared equals 25. I'll subtract 4 on both sides. 25 minus 4 is 21. And B equals well, plus or minus the square root of 21, but since it has to be a length, it's positive. So the square root of 21 is a side. Firmness to B, so now I'm going to put that in here. This is the square root of 21. Now let's set up all these ratios. A great way to remember this is the phrase Sokatoa. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. Sokatoa is an easy way to remember this. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse square root of 21 over 5. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, 2 over 5. Tangent theta, opposite over adjacent. Now, what are the other three trig functions? Over here, this is cosecant of theta, secant of theta, and cotangent of theta. These are the reciprocals of all these ratios right here. So cosecant theta which is 1 over sine of theta, is just this reciprocal. So I'll write 5 over square root of 21. Cosine theta is 2 over 5, so secant theta is 5 over 2. Cotangent theta will be the reciprocal of this, which is 2 over the square root of 21. So yes, cosecant of theta is sine theta's reciprocal body. All right, and secant of theta is cosine of theta's reciprocal body. We can actually think of that as a trig identity, or we can say cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine theta. You can do that with the other pairs. Okay? Um, when you remember these, just don't put S with S. Okay? So what I'm saying is sine's reciprocal body is cosecant. Cosine's reciprocal body is secant. Notice with the C with the S. So don't make, make a mistake and put cosine theta as 1 over cosecant theta. No. Sine of theta is 1 over cosecant theta. These are the reciprocal trig buddies. Uh, lastly, you can rationalize this expression right here. You can rationalize that denominator. And to rationalize that denominator, 5 over the square root of 21, you just multiply the square root of 21 over the square root of 21, which is 5 square root of 21 over 21. And you could do the same thing here with the cotangent of theta, which would make that 2 times the square root of 21 over 21. Okay. Now, let's look at the special right triangles. There's two of them. The first one. Is one for this side. Double it for the hypotenuse, and this long leg is square root of 3. This is opposite 60 degrees. This one is opposite 30 degrees. 
So this is a special right triangle with the 30 degrees and the 60 degrees. Here's the second one. This is an isosceles right triangle. So both the legs are ones and the hypotenuse is a square root of two. 45 degrees there and 45 degrees there. It's very important to remember the special right triangles. So what we're gonna do now is find sine of all these angles. Cosine and tangent. So I'm gonna set this up. Let's see, we got a 30 degree angle, which is also pi over six. We got a 45 degree angle, which is also pi over four. And we have a 60 degree angle, which is also pi over three. I'm just gonna set up a table and we're gonna evaluate What's the sine of a 30 degree angle? What's the cosine of a 60 degree angle, etc. So let's start. All right, let's start with 30 degrees. What's the sine of 30 degrees? Opposite of right bodies. It's one over two. What's the cosine of 30 degrees? Adjacent of right bodies. Square root of three over two. What's a tangent of 30 degrees? Opposite over adjacent. One over the square root of three. You can rationalize the denominator, you'll get square root of three over three. Let's do 45. What's the sine of 45? Not that triangle, this triangle. So the sine of 45, you can use either angle, I'll use this one. Opposite of right hypotenuse. One over the square root of two. What's the cosine of 45 degrees? Adjacent of right hypotenuse. Same ratio. Tangent of 45 degrees, opposite over adjacent. One over one, which is just, yeah, one. And lastly, with 60 degrees, sine of 60 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of 60 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, tangent of 60 degrees, opposite over adjacent. You can just write that as square root of 3. Square root of 3 or 1 is square root of 3. These are very important, so make sure to remember these special right triangles. Okay? Also, if you have to know one of the reciprocal buddies, let's say you had to find the secant of pi over 4. Well, pi over 4 is 45 degrees. Who's secant's reciprocal buddy? Cosine theta. So it's just going to be reciprocal of the one of its square root of two. Square root of two. Let's try another one. How about the cosecant of pi over six? Well, who's cosecant's reciprocal buddy? Sine. So sine of pi over six is one over two. Cosecant of pi over six will be the reciprocal two over one. Okay. One more. How about the cotangent? of pi over 6. Well, the tangent of pi over 6 is 1 over square root of 3, so the cotangent of pi over 6 will be square root of 3 over 1. All right? Those are the special right triangles. Make sure to know those. Let's do two applied problems. So you'll need a calculator. Let's see. I keep drawing a triangle this way. How about I draw it this way? This is not drawn a scale, but let's say uh, let's say this is 20. This leg over here is x. And let's say this angle here is 40 degrees. And we want to find the length of x in this triangle, in this right triangle. We can't use Pythagorean theorem because for Pythagorean theorem we need at least two legs. All right. We only have the length of one, we have the hypotenuse, we don't know either leg, but we know this angle. So, we look at this carefully, we have 40 degrees, we're looking for the opposite side, oh, looking for the opposite side of 40 degrees, and we have the hypotenuse. So which trig function has the O and the H in it? So, SOH sine of theta. So I'm going to set up an equation, sine of this angle 40 degrees, see now theta is 40 degrees, equals opposite over hypotenuse. 
And to solve this, I just multiply 20 on both sides. So 20 times sine of 40 degrees equals x. Now when you hit this on a calculator, the calculator puts a parentheses here, and we'll just close it out like that. Make sure everyone, your calculator is in degree mode. So right here, there's a mode button. Make sure you hit mode, make sure it's in degree. Okay, so I'm hit second quit, blank screen. I'm going to hit sign. Whoops, excuse me. Let me hit the 20 first. 20 times sign 40. And I'll hit enter. And we get 12.85. I'll round to uh, tenths place. So I'm going to say this hex is roughly about 12.9. Okay. Is about 12.9. One more. Let's say, all right, got a right triangle. This time you're looking for theta. Okay. And let's say this over here is uh, 21. And this length right here is, let's say, 16. All right, and we're looking for theta. And we look at this expression. 21 is opposite of theta. 16 is adjacent to theta. O and A, which one has that? Tangent. So we're going to use tangent. We'll set this up. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now, to find theta on your calculator, to find this angle, what we're going to do is use the inverse tangent. Now, to find this, you'll see there's a tangent right here. I have to hit here, I'll clear the screen. I have to hit second tan to get this inverse tangent, which puts that symbol there. All right, this will find the angle whose tangents ratio is 21 over 16. It'll find that acute angle, all right, that has that ratio. So I'm gonna type 21, divide 16. I'm gonna hit enter. And we're getting the angle to be about 52.69 degrees around to the closest integer, eh, it's about 52 degrees. Okay, so yes, that's called inverse tangent, but you can also refer to this as the angle whose tangent's ratio is 21 over 16. Okay, so just make sure your calculator when you're working these problems is in degree mode. And that's it.